So welcome to another episode of Snapshot Sunday. In this episode we're going to share with you one of the things that we do when we get ready when we provision and get ready for being out on anchor for a few weeks. And one of the things we do besides going to the supermarket and, and buying all the food that we need, we pickle. And that's something we've started doing in the last year and we just love it. Now you probably is going to ask well you, you know, you can get this stuff from the supermarket, why bother, it's probably cheaper, and you're right, it is probably cheaper just to go to the supermarket than buy all of this, but we do it because we feel proud of something that we've produced, we feel that it's time that we can spend together doing something quite creative, and we enjoy it, and yeah, there's nothing better than having your own stuff that you've made. So this Snapshot Sunday is just going to be a short video on us pickling, Hope you enjoy it and thanks so much for watching. Like a kid in a candy store. It's a big one. Yeah, now we love jalapenos. I love anything hot and spicy, but even that's a bit much. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd have to eat it pretty quickly too. All right, we're just going to get some chili and flour and we're out of here. Alright, so we're back at our friends, Andy and Denise, and they're always so good to us, letting us use the kitchen and their oven and the washing machine. So it's really good for us to be able to use their kitchen to do all of this because we've just got more space. We've got an oven that can keep the, the jars sterile and warm. We've got a dishwasher that we can put the jars through. So it's all just really helpful. So what we're doing is we've got chilies over here, and Adam has started with the um, cutting and the deseeding of the chilies. He's been wearing gloves just to keep himself, um, not to get any of the chili on his hands. We're doing how many jars of chilies? Six. Six jars of pickled chilies. We've got um, pickling onions and we're going to do, we have to think about it now. Six. Six jars of those. Um, we've got one kilo of garlic and so that's going to give us four jars of pickled garlic. We've got peas and so we're going to do about four jars of pickled peas and they're really nice to go in salads and with pork and things like that. We've got beetroot which we're going to do a couple of jars of beetroot and two cabbages for a couple of jars of sauerkraut. So the book we use is called In a Pickle. We got it from one of the bookshops and there were a few there but we picked this one up, really liked it, liked the recipes, they seemed easy to follow. So that's the book we use and we really enjoy the recipes from it. And these recipes, we've tried a few, but these are the recipes that we really like and that we use a lot of, the garlic, the chilli, and we love the pickled onions, they've got a real bang to them and they're really nice and strong. So we've got a big task ahead of us, it's later in the afternoon. But we're going to try and get as much of it done and like I said that we've got access to the kitchen which is really really helpful. When we get back onto the boat we'll pickle some meat um, which means we've done it before where we keep the meat, pickle meat um, or not really pickle it but can it I guess and then that means we don't have to keep that in the fridge and we can keep it up for two years out of the fridge. So that was a really cool recipe we got from our friend. So yeah busy time, big day of pickling. It's going to be, like I said, our biggest yet, so we're just going to get into it. So Adam's going to do the chilies, and I'm going to prepare the pickling onions because you have to peel them, of course, but then you also have to salt them and leave them overnight. So, yeah, so all the water drains out of them. So we'll, we better get into it.
the next day and the onions have been sitting in salt overnight so that should soften them up and now it's time to make up the vinegar brine.